good morning. It is Sunday, the 21st of October, 2018. Uh, we are on another test flight, still trying to get the uh, fuel flow dialed in from our whole maintenance issue. So we're going to go up to the oh, two-hour flight up to no, the Nodine VOR and back. Uh, the weather is gorgeous. We're under high pressure. Yesterday, winds were 35, 40 knots, so <laughs> stayed away from the plane. Uh, but uh, today is beautiful. Uh, so we're going to go up and back. On our way up today, we're going to talk about, I thought I would do a series of videos on some of the basic stuff that, that, a, that a pilot learns so that, that folks that, are, that maybe have never had exposure to it, uh, you know, this is not flight training, you know, you got to say that because there's, it's not. Uh, if you want to go train, go find a CFI, let the professionals train you on how to do this. But for the non-pilots, folks that are just like, oh, how, how, you know, what is some of the basic stuff that they look at? Uh, that's what we're going to go over. So today is going to be about the four forces of flight, uh, and we'll kind of demonstrate and, and be able to see uh, while we're flying what, what's happening. Um, anyway, I got the, uh, I got the cl uh, clearance. I got the weather already. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get started here, and we're going to ODI. Delta, Papa, Alpha. Cessna 6456 Papa. Cloud Secretary Strider, stand by. Roger that, 56 Papa. Okay, transponder is set, lights are good, directional gyro is set. Com radios, 12595 he gave me. And we need ground. Temperature set, VSI, flaps are up, trim is set, landing gear indicator is green. Barely see it, but you can. So it's now 56 top and maintain VFR, at or below 4000, departure frequency 125.95, squawk 5314. All for taxi. Good morning, Quad City Ground, Comanche 6928, Pop at the T's, looking to taxi to uh, the active. System 56, Pop, read back, correct? Comanche 6928, Pop at Quad City Ground, runway 27 at November, intersection departure, taxi via Kilo Golf November, cross runway 31. Kilo cross, uh, Kilo Golf November, cleared across 31, Papa. All right. So I hope everybody's been uh, two or three weeks. I have, just haven't really been able to go flying. Um, we did that breakfast run up to Dubuque. And since then, I've just had a series of just bad weather days where uh, two weeks ago, uh, we were going to go up to Lesur, Minnesota. We're redoing our kitchen, and, and the missus wanted to look at the countertop in of, as a full slab and Eventually we did that, but we did that here on Friday. I had to drive to Chicago. Um, but um, because what we were thought we wanted, she didn't like, and, and I kind of agreed with her there on that part of it. Anyway, but the, the clouds were, you know, 1,800 feet, and the temperatures were super cold. Uh, so there would have been ice. It, it rained and it snowed a little bit that day. We're 32204, Quad City Clearance, maintain VFR, at or below 4,000, departure frequency 133.27, squawk 0353. So that was day one. Then we waited a week, and in the second week, uh, which was last Friday, the weather was, it was blowing 30, 40 knots up in Minnesota. I went, yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that. That would have been uncomfortable as all get out. Temperatures were good and everything, but... That kind of wind is just a no-go. Starts getting into the 30s, and I start really paying attention. Uh, so we ended up driving to Chicago and looking. They have a distribution center. This company has a distribution center there. We were able to they have a there's a nice F-18 Hornet parked here. I wonder what must be just transiting the. They do that sometimes because we got a real long runway. So the jets will come in. Now here comes a plane, That's the sundowner. Always oh, take off and landing. He's touch and goes. So, anyway, I hope everybody had a good. What has been three weeks, I guess. Quad 
Quad City Ground, this is Cessna 6456 Papa at the South Seas requesting taxi to the active. So this is 6456 Papa, Quad City Ground, runway 27 at November, taxi via Kilo Golf November, cross runway 31. Runway 27 at November, intersection via Kilo Golf November, cross runway 31 for 56 Papa. Right behind us then. So Papa, us. Be at November. Uh, roger that, we have 27 at November, 56 Papa. So the 56 Papa, the ATIS code November. Oh, sorry about that, yeah, we do have November for the ATIS code, 56 Papa. Roger. Okay, he cleared us across 1331. Have a look-see here. We're a little bit behind today. It's uh, oh, 9.30, so I'm a solid hour behind when I normally like to, like to go. But that's just the way it worked. All right. We're here at 32204, quad to the ground, runway 27 at November, taxi via Kilo, Golf, November, cross runway 31. 27 at November via Kilo, Golf, November, cross 31. All right, let's go ahead and turn a bit here. AC taxis up behind us while we're doing our run-up. We don't want to blast them. All right, brakes set. Back to our checklist. Brake set doors are closed and locked. Flight controls free and correct. Flight instruments 3038, that works. And we want an outbound desired track of 346. Mixture will leave lean, 1500 RPM. Get some oil in there. Now we go to 2000, make sure we don't creep. Engine sounds good. There's EIS. EIS back up. Magneto. Carb heat. And everything looks good. Low pressure oil temperatures. Back to idle. Good idle, back to a thousand. Excellent. Okay, circuit breakers are all in. Trim, final check. Radio to tower, next frequency is set. Transponder is on alt, flaps are up. Floor is clear. Primer is in and locked, carb heat, prop. Throttle to friction lock is good. We'll get the mixture on roll on. Strobes, landing, we'll get the fuel boost pump on roll on. All the tower. Okay. Rotate. All right, so emergencies are gonna be the field to the left. Land straight ahead if we can on the runway. Interstate is just to our right. November 5, 476. Correction, 476, Romeo Sierra, Quad City Tower, runway 27, clear to land. 27, clear to land, 6 Romeo Sierra. Quad City Tower, Command 6928, Papa November and 27, we're ready to go, sir. November 6928, Papa, Roger. Number six, Roman Sierra. Traffic departing prior to arrival is a Comanche. Roger. 
November 28 Papa, runway 27 at November cleared for takeoff. Turn right heading 310 on traffic, so citation 7 north of the airport on the right base. 6928 Papa, right 310, cleared for takeoff November 27, 21 Papa. Okay, fuel. 310. Turn down 6012 Juliet, make left traffic. Left traffic, full stop, 12 Juliet. And here we go. Roger. Windsock. A little bit left to right. Ooh, lots of horsepower today. Quad City Tower, this is Cessna 6456 Papa, holding short of uh, 27 at November. November 56 Papa, Quad City Tower, runway 27 at November, clear for takeoff. Turn right heading 310. You're up, flaps up. Turn right heading 310, runway 27 at November, clear for takeoff, 56 Papa. Citation is 5 miles north of the airport, right base. Number 28 Papa, flighting 310, contact departure. 6928 Papa, right to 310, over to departure. Number 6 Roman Sierra, additional. You can expect a new squad code shortly. Okay, let's get into cruise climb. Quad City departure, command 6928 Papa, we're uh, 1,500, turning to 310. Command 6928 Papa, Quad City departure, radar contact, climb to VFR, quad city altitude, proceed on course. Climbing to 3, or, correction, 4,500. On course, two way Papa. Legion 2180, you have the Quad City Airport in sight. That's okay, your uh, 4,500. miles. Inside, Legion 2180. Legion 2180, cleared visual approach, runway 27. Cleared for visual 27, Legion 2180. Quad City approach, Med Force 1 is the base in sight, will be arrival. Med Force 1, you are going to be full stop there? Say that again, sir. You're going to go land at your base? Affirmative, Med Force 1. Med Force 1, Roger. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved, Squawk VFR. Change approved, Squawk VFR for Med Force 1. A little bit of a left to right here. Heading of uh, 335. Gets us. 2180, contact tower, 119.4 today. Our desired track across the ground. Watch for birds. There goes a flock right there. Quad City departure is Cessna 6456 Papa climbing through 1100. Cessna 6456 Papa Quad City departure radar contact. Climb to VFR requested altitude. Turn right on course. Turning right on course. Climbing up to requested altitude. 56 Papa. Hey, we're going to 4500. Davenport Airport's right there. We're at 3,500, so we're well above pattern altitude. November 2899 or November, contact Cedar Rapids Approach 119.7, good day. 119.7 for 99 November, thank you. 1,000 to go. Red temperatures look good. Arrow 3, Charlie Alpha, reset transponder, squawk 5303. 5303 for 3, Charlie Alpha. Go ahead and turn that fuel boost pump off. Fuel pressure still is looking good. Thousand five hundred right there. Set 
to 5-6 Papa, verify turning right on course to base. A little, war a little heat Roger here. Roger, we're uh, turning right on course to the base, 5-6 Papa. Thank you. All right, we'll let her speed up. And we're looking for 70% horsepower today. 23.122 and a half. So five six Papa, traffic on final for runway 27, about four miles out for 27. Airbus, correction on an MD-80. Roger we have the traffic inside, five six Papa. Alright, 23.1. Back this off. Heat works. Approach water ski forty seven ninety four, uh, twelve thousand six hundred descending one one thousand with November. Water ski 4794, right, maintain 2400, proceed direct K's, expect visual approach 27. Proceed direct K's, uh, expect uh, visual 27 and uh, Good visibility. maintain 2300. Water ski 4794. Water ski 4794, descend and maintain 2400. Real good visibility. 2400, water ski 4794. Okay, throttle prop mixture, we got to get that. Fuel boost pump is off. All right, so we're going to lean find. We are rich a peak. No, hold on, exit that. I got to get it to where it's 50 degrees. Arrow 563, Charlie Alpha, contact Chicago Center 133.9 or 5. Good day. One three three nine or five. Let's get that Charlie stabilized. Fine, Richard Peak. Number two is leanest, huh? Cardinal 8007 Golf, you're getting into a part that's going to be pretty low for radar and radio communications. If you could climb up to uh, at least 3,500, that would work better for everybody. Okay, I'll climb to 3,500 or 07 Golf. And uh, probably should be for about 10 miles or so, and then radio coverage with Dubuque and radar coverage with, uh, sorry, Chicago Center will be much better. Okay, very good. Thanks, 07 Golf. All right, we'll get a leaned out here. This 
cold air, it's not going to go very lean. Warrior 32204, Quad City Departure, radar contact, climb to VFR, request at altitude. Proceed on course south, practice area. Warrior 4794, traffic, get to your 12 to 1 o'clock, 1 4 miles, opposite direction it is a Cessna eastbound at 4500. Search for traffic, water ski 4794. Right. 5 6 Papa, traffic 12 o'clock, 1 2 miles is an Embraer 145 descending into the Quad City Airport out of 7000. Roger, we're looking for traffic, we'll advise when we have 5 6 Papa. Departure 100 degrees, rich peak. Uh, 1.9, clapping 4,000, direct to Iowa City. Water ski 4688, quad city departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000, water ski 4688. Oh, he's still riching it up a little bit. Quad city departure, Cessna 6456, Papa, negative on the uh, traffic. Cessna 56, Papa, roger. Traffic at your 1 o'clock and 8 miles now. And oh, dude, you're not going to spot him 8 miles. You're going to pass off your right wing. Roger that, 56, Papa. All right, perfect. Here we go. And Quad Cities approach, uh, Arrow 4846 Juliet. Arrow calling approach, say again. Yeah, it's Arrow 4846 Juliet. We're uh, showing about 22 miles to the uh, northeast of the airport. Uh, me tr I'd like to transit your uh, north and west part of your airspace at uh, 2,100 feet. Arrow 4846, Juliet, Quad City Approach, Roger. Squawk 0356. Did you want to fly following all the way to your destination today? Oh, uh, that'd be great, yeah. And, uh, what says squawk in 03 what? 0356. 0356, come on. Quad City Departure, uh, Cessna 6456, Papa, we got the Embraer inside. That's 5 6 five. thank you. Risky 3794, the Quad City Airport at your 12 o'clock and 1 3 miles. Inside Water Ski 4794. Busy, 4794, busy. cleared visual approach runway 27, contact tower 119.4. Right, so, cleared visual 27. Let's get tower, this thing leveled off. Uh, 194, Water Ski 4794. We're going to get on more water on our 46, course here. Contact Chicago Center 118.75. Good night. 1875, water ski 4688, good day. Direct. Activate. Autopilot on. Heading. GPS. And we're going to get altitude hold in there. All right. Excellent. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. Let's check the sound. And the sound is working. Excellent. Okay. At least I hope it's working. It looks like it's working. Cardinal 8007 Golf Contact, Chicago Center, 133.905. Good day. 33905. Thanks for help. There's some golf. Arrow 46 Juliet, your radar contact, 17 miles northeast of the Quad City Airport. Quad City altimeter, 3037. What was your destination? Uh, 46 Juliet, uh, altitude hold is, uh, is being Kilo finicky 19. today. Kilo 19. thing level. Sometimes she does this, sometimes she doesn't. We also need to switch tanks. That's uh, 
Albany, Missouri for 46 Julia. 046 Julia, thank you. Okay. Comanche 69028 Papa, contact Chicago Center 133.95. Good day. 6928 Papa, over to 13395. Thank you, sir. Wisconsin 3840, contact Milwaukee Bridge, 125.35, 2535, and have a wonderful day. Good morning, Chicago Center. Comanche 6928, Papa, level 4,500. Good morning, Chicago Center. Arrow 563, Charlie Alpha, 4,800. November, uh, that was 563 Charlie Alpha at 40, 40 well, so 4800, uh, uh, sorry, 4700. Affirmative. Welcome, November 3 Charlie Alpha. And then I missed somebody else's at November 48700 Delta. Uh, no, ma'am, it was November 6928 Papa, level 4500. November 6928 Papa, Chicago Center Roger. Welcome to Dubuque, Temperature 3032. 3032, thank you, ma'am. November 660, Alpha Charlie. November 839, uh, Kilo Tango. VFR traffic, 12 o'clock. I'm sorry, it's their IFR traffic. 12 o'clock at about uh, 5 miles southeast, sound of 7,000 feet, and BE 23 yeah. northwest, sound of 6,000 Let's get up there, 75 feet. So, we are going to talk about one of the basic things, or the first things that a pilot learns, is called the four forces of flight. Attention, Mark, I've also just all the information there for Iowa, Indiana, Kentucky, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wisconsin, available on Hollis or Flight Service frequencies. And Wisconsin thirty eight forty three, contact Chicago Center on one three three point three five and have a great day. One three 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 five for Wisconsin thirty eight forty three. So, Good day and still smooth. It is important for a pilot. It's the it's the beginning of aerodynamics. Five, six, eight, five Delta, contact Milwaukee Bridge on one so, seven point zero. Have a great day. The four forces of flight, and we are we are experiencing them right now. Experiencing them right now, and we'll start from the front. Thrust, as provided by the engine, be it a jet or or, or in my case a, a, a prop. The opposite of thrust is drag. There are actually two different kinds of drag and we'll get into that maybe in another in another video. Uh, but it's the it's the it's drag. It's the force of air uh, on the on the the uh, airfoil and on the on the on the airplane as it as it goes through. It's the it's the, the pushing back of the air if you will. The other kind of drag and we'll get into this like I said in more detail is when a wing makes lift, November five six eight five Delta contact Milwaukee Bridge one two seven point zero. It have a great creates day. drag. You can't have lift without drag. Uh, and the and the more lift you're creating, the more drag you're making. Uh, so November two two seven two Delta. And that has to do with the angle of attack. We'll, we'll get into some of that. And have a wonderful day. When we talk about the other two, which is what I'm going to do today. So. In the up direction, so that's the front and the back direction. November 5, Thrust. 6, 8, 5, Delta, Chicago. And drag. In the, in the up direction is lift. And in the down direction is weight or gravity. November 660, six, Alpha Charlie. VFR traffic 11 o'clock and about uh, so 1 0 miles southeast on altitude indicates 5,600. So in verified type unknown. Looks like you should go right behind him. In straight and level flight, unaccelerated straight and level flight that means i'm not accelerating i'm not decelerating i'm not climbing i'm not november five six eight five delta ascending, chicago which is rare right a plane is really rarely in a perfect state of equilibrium um those four AC forces 40, 25, chicago center roger welcome <laughs> coming to you are the rockford altimeter three zero three eight are in balance so in straight and level, unaccelerated flight, thrust equals drag, because I'm doing the airspeed, I'm not, accel I'm not accelerating, I'm not decelerating. Lift equals my weight, I'm holding level. 
A couple of people calling. So, number four four one Charlie Julius, Chicago Center. Roger. Welcome. And the Madison Altimeter three zero three. So we have and all of those in balance. Four one Charlie Juliet, you are doing the and uh, photo mission. You said any phase, any phase of flight. What a pilot is doing with his controls, be it the throttle or the yokes or the rudder pedals. Okay, just let me know. Uh, he is modifying you the starting point and also, uh, those forces. To get the plane to climb or descend, Thank you. November speed, speed up or slow down. And really, that's what all the pilot is doing. The wing is what matters. The fuselage is just, you know, the, this is, is just a place to mount the engine and the people to make the wing do its thing. So, let's talk about lift. First, because really that's what makes an airplane an airplane. And if nobody ever told you why an airplane is called an airplane, it comes from a wood plane. Have you ever seen a handheld wood plane? And a guy runs it across the edge of a board to move off the surface. That blade in that plane has a shape, right? That flat part just keeps that blade at the right angle into the wood, right? So that blade is shaped like this. And what an airplane does, well, one of the ways it creates lift, you flip it. November 6, and it planes the air. So, in high school science, we all learned that air has mass. It weighs something. I know we all think of it as gas because we're used to it. It is a gas, but it behaves like a liquid. That's another reason a lot of the terms that aircraft use are, are the same terms that the, 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 the water, uh, the boats and ships and the, the naval people sorry, use. Because a lot of the things are, are the same. So an airplane planes the air. Air has mass. At max gross weight, my plane is 3,000 pounds. That means we got to sh switch tanks. We'll boost pump on. Thank you. Right main tank on. Left main tank off. Fuel pressure is good. November two eight three Sierra Romeo Chicago Center Roger. Welcome good. to Volcom Center three zero two eight. November eight three nine kilo Tango. Okay, so we had 40 minutes would be seven and a half would be nine gallons. November eight three nine kilo tango. I have reading for you when you have a moment. Okay, so November nine kilo tango. At max gross weight, my airplane weighs three thousand pounds. And then direct that means for a plane. To go up, it needs to displace more than 3,000 pounds of air. I need to push the air down to lift the plane up. That's what a wing does. So, similar for a ship to float, it has to displace water, an airplane to fly, has to move more than its weight in air down or in a direction it needs. Okay. So how does it do that? And it's the airfoil, the wing. And the wing is the most important thing Chicago Center, on an aircraft. What, how it meets the air, the shape that it has. Um, I'm sorry, I missed you. canceling uh, flight following. Yeah, determines how well it does in whatever role. So, there are there is no single wing shape. There are a lot of different wing shapes. You got fat wings, skinny wings, 
Wings that are fatter to the front, wings that are fatter towards well, towards the middle. You have, we got a guy 400 feet below us. Chicago has not called him out. Coming off at the view. 200 feet below us, about five miles. So is he going to climb up? We can see him. Now he's even with us. What is his speed? And he's level. 82 knots, so I should beat him. Where is he? Chicago Center, Archer 655, four trailers level at 7,000. He's going to pass behind us. I want to get a visual on him just in case. So anyway, a lot of different wing sorry, shapes. Sorry, Center, Archer, six, five, and depending five, on four, what mission you want the plane to do, certain shapes are better than others. Fat wings. Fat wings do better producing lift. Yeah, he's behind us now. Number eight three nine or kilo tango. Thanks for your help today. Contact Madison. Damn, that was first. close. On one three five point four five. Have a great day. Chicago Center uh, five six three Charlie Alpha. There he is. Yeah. Number five six three Charlie Alpha. Go ahead. Yeah, I would like to uh, cancel flight following. Uh, we're heading to, into Platteville. All right. Number five six three Charlie Alpha. Uh, so, a fat wing, a wing that's fat in the front, does better producing lift at low air speeds than a skinny wing. But a skinny wing is faster. So, like, the difference between a transport airplane and a fighter airplane, fighter airplane's wing is very thin. Makes a lot of horsepower, though, so it can be. On my iPad, so I'll look for that traffic. Thanks for your help this morning. A jet transport aircraft, you know, makes a lot of horsepower, but it also lifts a lot of weight. So it needs a nice fat wing to get off the ground. And then, well, modern jets, they're actually, they morph their wings using slats and flaps and different things, sweeping the wing to get, to get airspeed and efficiency. So, a wing produces lift, and this is, all, if you want to really get into this, there's a book called uh, Aerodynamics for Naval Aviators. I tried to read it, but it's got, the math is beyond anything I even want to get into. Uh, so, I'm a, uh, this is a basic description. A, a, a wing produces lift in two ways. So the wing is attached to the airframe with a slight, this is the front of the plane, with a slight angle. The air hits the wing and gets pushed down off the bottom of the wing and gets pushed down. You're talking a, a degree or something. You're not talking a lot. That air getting pushed down creates an equal and opposite reaction up. That's one way. Now, it's not a very efficient way, and it's part of how a wing produces lift, but it's, it's not all of it. With the aerodynamic teardrop shape, or some of them have a teardrop shape, you can actually have one that has no, you know, shape like a diamond. You can do different things. The air passing over the wing has a shape, and it has to travel farther than the air traveling under the wing. And it might not be much. So, if the air molecule hits the wing and goes over the top, that wing is getting, more wing is getting forced through the air. Right? Because of how a wing is shaped. Bottom of the wing, on 
in the, the generic shape. Top of the wing does this number. Comes up and goes back. So that air molecule has to travel maybe that much farther. Right? Than, than the air molecule on the bottom of the wing. Well, to do that, it has to speed up. Because it's going farther. When an air molecule speeds up, it develops a low pressure area. So on the bottom of the wing, you have high pressure. Air getting forced down. Air bunching up and getting forced down. Air bunching up creates a high pressure. On the top of the wing, you have a low pressure. Because that air has to speed up. It has to flow faster. Tender, Hotel Echo, November Delta. Those two forces provide the lift. Now, like I said, in my airplane at full max gross weight, I need to provide at least 3,100 pounds of lift to get the airplane to climb. So, how is lift? That, that lift is produced by this air going underneath and air going over the top. Okay, so that's basic lift. And like you said, with the different wing forms, you get different actions and different uh, reactions at different air speeds. But that's essentially it. Okay, so... What a pilot does with our controls to create lift is we change the angle of attack. So angle of attack is the angle at which that leading edge of the wing meets what's called the relative wind. So if I want to increase, this is the front of the plane, the angle of attack, that's done with the elevator. I pull back or push forward to adjust the tail, which adjusts the wing. So I can create more lift or less lift using that. Want to create more lift? I incline the wing a little bit more. The, the air now has to flow even farther over the top. And I'm catching more air on the bottom. Well, you can only do that so much before the air that's going over the top, making your low pressure system, before it separates. It can't follow the curve of that wing anymore. And that's called a stall. A stall happens at a specific angle of attack. It doesn't matter how fast I'm going, it doesn't matter how slow I'm going. If the wing exceeds that angle to the relative wind, that air cannot make that, that trip across the top. I, that dumps the low pressure system on the top of the wing. We don't create the same num amount of lift. And in, a, in, a, in this kind of airplane, and in, in all airplanes, really unless you got an aft CG, and you, which is stupid, uh, the the wing will stall. The nose of the airplane is heavier than the back, and so you'll nose down. The airplane will then automatically pick up speed, and you decrease the angle of attack. I told you about the book called Stick and Rudder. A lot of this is explained in there. It is it is the most important thing when an airplane gets into trouble. The first thing that a pilot needs to do is decrease the angle of attack. Make sure that he's not stalled. Because it, when you're stalled, the air, airplane no longer, it won't, it won't do what it's supposed to do. You can put in control inputs. If you have yaw and you're skidding uh, or slipping in a turn and you're stalled, you can, get, uh, you can enter into a spiral or spin, they call it, which is a spiral dive. And what pilots, a lot of pilots get in trouble as they get scared and Hercules pulls back on this yoke because that's what you get used to. I want to go up, I pull back, I want to go down. Well, when you're in a spin or in a dive and you want to go up, you naturally, your reaction, a pilot, so a pilot's got to fight that. You have to decrease, you got to push. Make sure you're not stalled. Then the airplane's wing can create lift again. You're stalled, you're not making enough lift. Okay. So.
So, okay, so that's lift. A turn. An airplane banks into a turn. Now there's all kinds of talk about adverse yaw and a whole discussion. You know, on one side of the wing is going faster through the turn than the other side of the wing because you're making a circular circle. We're not going to get into that. Uh, which the rudder, all a rudder is for is to cancel out adverse yaw. All right, let's get into it a little bit so it makes sense. So... <laughs> When an airplane turns, you bank your wings. I'm creating more lift on this side of the plane. Let's say I'm turning to the right. I create the ailerons, change the shape of the wing. One comes up, one goes down. When that happens, I create more lift on this side than I do on this side. When I create more lift on this side, I create more drag. One, the aileron is now dipping down into the airflow, and I'm creating more lift that creates more drag. When you create more drag on this side of the plane, that creates what's called adverse yaw. The nose wants to pull this way because I got more drag on this side. A rudder cancels that. It pulls the airplane's nose back to where it needs to be. That's what a rudder does. Now, you don't have to have a rudder. Uh, some airplanes... You don't have to have rudder pedals. Some airplanes have aileron rudder interconnects. They're bungee cords, cables that when you put this in, it automatically puts the rudder in. Um, you know, it, it so you you can you can get around it, but the simplest way is just put a rudder on it, and uh, that cancels the adverse yaw. So if I'm turning to the left. This aileron goes down, more lift is created, less lift is created, more drag is created, the nose wants to slew this way, I have to put rudder in this way to pull the nose through. Now, an airplane turns by vectoring its lift. The rudder doesn't turn the airplane, the rudder just cancels the adverse yaw. An airplane turns by changing how much the lift from going down in straight level flight to going, let's say in a left hand turn, to going that way. Bank the wings, the lift now shifts and pushes that way. They're turning the airplane to the left in a left hand turn or in a right hand turn, the lift instead of going down and holding the airplane up and counteracting gravity, pushes to this, pushes this direction, pushing the airplane through the air to the right. Okay, now when you do that, like right now I'm making 2,700 pounds of lift or whatever it is, holding me in straight and level flight. Um, when I change that vector, I lose some of the lift going down holding the airplane up. So a pilot, what he does is he gives a little bit of back pressure, changes the angle of attack on the wing just a little bit to create a little additional lift to hold altitude. So I'm actually making more lift. I hope that wasn't for me. They're yabbling. November 441, Charlie Juliet, just out of curiosity, how much further to the south are you planning on going? Roger. So, and that'll be north south lines again. And, uh, a pilot will increase the angle of attack in a turn to generate more lift. Now, when you do that, you also generate g forces, and you'll feel that in a car when you go around a corner. It'll push you. Like if you make a right-hand turn, it'll push you to the left side of the car. Make a left-hand turn, push yeah, you to the we'll right side of the car. I'm sure I'll talk to you again, but for now, contact Chicago Center on 133.35. Have a wonderful day. So, when you bank a, an airplane, it does the same thing. Number 9016, Whiskey, Charlie, contact Minneapolis Center, 118.85, 1885, and have a great day. She's going to turn me over here soon. We're almost to Prairie to Shane. Turn me over to Minneapolis. So, since... Since the G-force is produced, the airplane actually weighs more, 
which further you further need to increase your angle of attack in a turn to to compensate for that increased weight that comes from or you compensate for the loss of lift and you compensate for the in increased weight. So that's how a turn works. Now there's a couple other things depending on the type of plane you fly with with how the engines, you know, on round engines, certain round engine planes where the whole engine spins. We're not going to get into that. Those are antique planes. Um, so, in a nutshell, there you go. I've probably talked for half an hour. But that is lift versus weight. So every pound I put in the airplane is weight. The weight of the aircraft will change as I burn off fuel. And... In a turn, as I add G load, an airplane's weight will, will, will change. Your stall speed, or the, the angle of attack will change. Or the, sorry, the angle of attack never changes on any of it, though. If I weigh 3,000 pounds, or I weigh 2,100 pounds, same angle of attack will stall the wing. And that's something maybe we'll talk about again that pilots uh, really have to pay attention to. So I, I can't think of much more to cover in the lift versus weight. We'll talk about thrust versus drag maybe in another video. I don't want to bore you guys to death. But anyway, that's it. I'll turn the camera back on uh, when when uh, when I get close into Moline. Um, talk to you all in a bit. Bye. Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's 11:22. Uh, we are 60 miles north of Moline, about 23 minutes out. Uh, so we're gonna start our descent here in another oh 30 miles or so, 35 miles. Um, just wanted to get everything synced back up, get you guys back with me. Uh, flight up was no problem. We're going to go ahead and get the ATIS now for Moline. Information, Papa. Papa, that's easy. Proud City for information, Papa, time 1552 Zulu, wind 200 at 12, visibility at 10, sky's clear, temperature 07, dew point minus 4, altimeter 3034, visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 27, notice to airmen, runway 1331 is closed, taxiway hotel between taxiway Juliet and runway 13, closed, advise on initial contact, give information, Papa. We have Papa, 200 at 12 knots, okay. So that's, that's Papa. All right. Um, I got a, I got something I want, want you guys to pay attention to. We were talking about angle of attack on the wing and how, how can this, Eastern 717, Chicago Center. the yoke demonstrate or sets the angle of attack. So I want you to look at the spread, the, the, this bar here, where it's at right now in cruise flight. And you'll see as I slow down, even if I'm going down, this bar is going to come back towards my okay, stomach. Be 13 lower in about uh, 30 seconds. Because I'm slowing the aircraft down, less air is flowing over the wing. If I want to maintain altitude, I have to fly at a higher angle of attack to increase the lift. Center, the and this is a good way you can two. see it. And when I land, you'll see it. it's all the way back. As I'm pulling the nose, I'm holding the nose up. I've got that angle of attack increased as much as I can. But I want you to pay attention to this. Uh, on this, on, you know, as we go into land here. Right, so right now it's, I don't know, six inches, eight inches. Let's get the, uh, Moline is 125.95. Get our radio set up here. We got the ATIS. We got ground. We'll kick it over to tower. Chicago Center. Good afternoon. All right, we are just south of Dubuque. The Dubuque altimeter is three zero two nine. Three zero two nine. Center Bravo Delta. 
Tower is 5813, contact Madison approach on 120.1. Pleasant flight. AC forty four fourteen. Descent to maintain one. Got a tailwind coming home. Ground speeds one hundred and fifty five knots. Country going up to one thirty nine. To climb through one six thousand, please. But uh, overall, uneventful. Delta twenty six seventeen. Contact Chicago Center on one two six. I'm sorry, it's uh one one eight point two two eighteen twenty two. We're on the right tank. We're going to land on the right tank. George is flying. George has been flying real good. Altitude hold has been holding real nice. For one, Charlie Juliet, uh, how much longer will you be on the uh, on the heading here, just for planning purpose? About 18 minutes out. Roger, thank you. A little burble here and there. I think there's quite a bit of wind above us. We're below that, that shear layer. In the winter time, here in the Midwest, the jet stream can get pretty low. Or, well, the, the low-level jet. It's not the real jet. It's the low-level jet. It's a band of wind that gets down into the... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11,000 feet range, and it's moving along. And once in a while, you'll get into that in the winter. If you're going east or northeast or southeast, depending on where that low-level wind is, it can really give you a speed boost. But it, there's a shear layer where the wind that's moving... Papa, contact Quad Cities approach on 125.9 or 5. Uh, 6928, pop over to 12595. Thanks, guys. You have a great week. Bye. 119.4. That's the tower. Good morning, Quad City Approach. Comanche 6928, Papa, level 5500 with Papa inbound, full stop. Damage at 500, Quad City Approach. Roger, expect visual approach. Oops. Just on to maintain 3000, advising you of the weather at Galesburg. Damage at 500, Roger, just advising you of the airport inside. Range 6 9 2 8, Papa, Quad City Approach, advising you of information, Papa, enter right base, runway 23. 6 9 2 8, Papa, I do have Papa, and uh, I'll enter right base for 23. 6 9 2 8, Papa. All right, that's easy. Strike Comanche 900, Delta Charlie, 4000. We have the weather at Clinton, Planet Visual. Twin Comanche 900, Delta Charlie, Quad City Approach, Roger, expect visual approach, Clinton Airport, let me know when you got in sight. Roll call. Saying the 23 Golf Hotel, uh, negative, you can remain at this altitude at this time. So anyway, prior to any defense. one second here. So, the layer in the air, where that wind Saying and the, the slow Gulf wind Hotel, reset your transponder, squawk, five, rub three, up against seven, each seven, other can be very turbulent. It's a shear layer. And uh, jets, it matters more to heavier, slower accelerating aircraft than it does to to piston pounders. It'll give you a jolt, but uh, a jet has it takes longer for a jet to accelerate and decelerate than it does for a light aircraft. So shear matters, but not not to the extent that it matters to a Passenger carrying jet. Okay. 
15 minutes to go. 39 miles. Ground speed's 155 knots, so about 25 miles out, we'll start descending. I got a cheat sheet here where I gotta lose 4,000 feet. So this tells me 20 to 21 miles out. I'll use 25 just because it's, it's easier. We're looking for a five, that's 500 foot per minute descent at that ground speed. Give me that 500 approach. Just passing over McQuoket Airport. Give me that 500, proceed direct to Jayu. Give me that 500, five miles northeast of the uh, Galesburg Airport. Altitude indicates 3,000 southwestbound. Uh, not talking to him. Good morning, Quad Cities, over 2627, 6,000, direct to Burlington. Over 2627, Quad City approach, Quad City altimeter, 3033. Catch this guy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we should be all right. We got a target that's about, uh, oh, 15 miles in front of us here. But I th think he's going into Davenport and should start descending. City approach, Skyhawk 7057, Quebec, just off of Davenport. Skyhawk 7057, Quebec, Quad City approach, standby. Gamma Jet 500, you're stepped down, say again. <laughs> we can't hear him. Gamma Jet 500, you're cleared visual approach to Galesburg Airport and report cancellation IFR in the air this frequency or on the ground this frequency. Change visor frequency approved and that VFR target now showing four miles northeast of the field, 3000. Citation 476, Romeo Sierra, 2600, climbing 4,310 heading. Citation 476, Romeo Sierra, quad city departure, radar contact, climb, maintain 10,000, where are you going? 10,000, 6 Romeo Sierra. I'm going to Rochester, sorry, I just got the strip here, and turn right on course Rochester. Right turn on course Rochester, 6 Romeo Sierra. Sky 7057 Quebec, correction, 7057 Quebec, quad city Lots approach, of traffic. quad 0366, say altitude and intentions. Squad 0366, we are 2300 and climbing, we would like to go direct to Kilo Charlie Bob Row Foxtrot. Is she from California? Sky 57 Quebec, can you just say again the identifier? Kilo, Charlie, Bravo, Foxtrot. Foxtrot. Five steps, Quebec. Council oh my god. Affirmative, five <laughs> steps, Quebec. Five steps, Quebec. Roger and uh, Skyhawk, five steven Quebec, your radar contact, two and a half miles southwest <laughs> of the Davenport Airport. Quite I know that's mean, but... It's just Skyhawk, funny. Skyhawk, five steps, Quebec. Yeah, it's mean. I shouldn't. I should make fun of her. <laughs> she just sounds. Oh my God, we're flying an airplane. Station Six Romeo Sierra, contact Chicago Center One One Eight Point Seven Five. Good day. Eighteen Seventy Five Six Romeo Sierra. Good day. Skyhawk Five Seven Quebec would like to request flight following all the way to Council Bluff. Sky 57 Quebec, Roger, and uh, you can expect a new squad code shortly. 57 Quebec. All right, a couple more miles here, and we'll start our descent. I got the airport in sight. Visibility today is awesome. I bet you it's 30, 35 miles, easy. I think it's with that sun in our eyes. Probably be a little bit farther. Sky 5-7 Quebec, and what altitude are you going to go to Council Bluff? 65 
500, Skyhawk 57, Quebec. Gonna fight into a headwind the whole way. Sky 57, Quebec, reset your transponder, squawk 3167. 3167, 57, Quebec. Oh my and center, Becky. November 185, Fox, Fox, VFR, 6500. Damage at 500, IFR cancellation received, and squawk VFR. Alright, there's 25 miles. Oh, altitude hold Delta off. 185, a Fox shot, Fox shot, Quad City approach, Quad City altimeter. We're going to back zero, a couple two. inches out. 30.32, Fox, Fox. We're going to point the nose down. We're looking for a 500 foot per minute descent. One we'll to three Gulf Hotel traffic will be departing right off your uh, right wing, the Quad City Airport, turning southbound. Is the CRJ-7 going to be turning uh, behind you? 500 feet a minute. We'll trim down until we start hitting a few bumps and we'll back it off. Comanche Zero Delta Charlie, descent of pilot's discretion, maintain 2,400. Discretion 2,400, we'll start down now, Zero Delta Charlie. So, as I said, you guys, watch, watch this. Now, right now, I just backed off the the manifold pressure, so I reduced power and pointed the nose down. So my angle of attack is almost exactly the same as what it was in level flight. My airspeed is a little bit faster, so I've reduced it to smidge. But I'm descending at 500 feet a minute, indicating 164 miles an hour. Now if I would have left the manifold pressure in the same position, I would have actually increased speed. But uh, we're not looking to get, because I don't know what the air below is like, how bumpy it is. I don't want to get too close to that yellow arc. Bonanza Golf, correction, three Golf Hotel, that traffic snow factor is three miles behind you. Ground speed's 156 miles an hour, so we picked up a couple mile an hour ground speed. 27, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 4,000. Speedy 4,000, 426, And we're looking for 1,400 as pattern altitude. We got to remember there's a big tower here in Bettendorf. Now we're going to be to the west of that tower, so that's not, not going to be an issue. There we are. I just keep adjusting the manifold pressure to carry that 21 inches. As we descend, the air thickens, and that manifold pressure will increase. And I'll increase horsepower, but we don't we don't want to do that. We do have tower set up. We do have ground set up. Quad City, Bonanza, 3-6 Tango Uniform, level 5,500. Bonanza, 3-6 Tango Uniform, Quad City Approach, Quad City Altimeter, 3 zero. So by descending three zero, three 500 zero. feet a minute, 600 feet a minute, five miles before I needed to. That'll give me time to get the air nose pulled level and the airplane slowed down to gear speed. And that's really the trick I found with, with flying a high performance single. Approach. You just gotta to think ahead and say, okay, where do I need to be when I need to do this? That's it. <laughs> Other than that, they don't fly that much different. Or knobs and levers and things, but. Yeah, I'm picking up a half an inch, half an inch. Inch two, Papa. Traffic 12 o'clock, four miles. Altitude indicates 1,400. Might be uh, traffic at the Davenport Airport, but it's an unverified altitude. Six nine two eight, Papa, sir. I'm looking for them. Yeah, they're just getting ready to land on. AC fifty two two, I guess it is. Contact Chicago Center one one eight point seven five. Good day. AC seventy five, AC fifty five seventy four. Good day. pattern. Short final it looks like. 
Command Two Eight Five, but it appears they're short final for uh, one for Davenport right now. Uh, six nine two eight five, sir. I'm looking down at him, but you know it's hard against the ground. I'm looking for him. Well, he's not at my altitude. Uh, he's underneath the nose. That's why I can't see him. Go ahead. Six nine two eight five three is just over the numbers. Thanks. Make you do it, Pop Roger. All right, I did do a little wiggle there to, to see. Let's keep our five hundred foot per minute descent going. Where's that tower? It's over right over there. Back off that manifold pressure again. Now you look, our, our ground speed dropped from 156 to 141 because the wind shifted more to this direction. So it was coming from that way. It shifted around. Now it's coming from that way. And that's what these bumps are as we're going through the shear layer. That airplane's still on the runway. Okay. So we need to start getting slowed down a little bit more. So I'm going to pull another two inches out. Keep the descent going. But we're going to go downhill slower. Uh, like I said, guys, watch this because when you when I get slowed down, you'll see this come back, and I'll trim it. Approach six nine two eight Papa, sir. I do have a field in sight. Meet six nine two eight Papa, Roger. In contact tower one one nine point four. Have a great day. Over to tower six nine two eight Papa. Good morning, Quad City Tower, Command 6928 Papa, uh, about 10 miles north, uh, 2,800 in the descent. Command 6928 Papa, Quad Star Runway 23, clear to land. 23, clear to land, 28 Papa. Whee! We're getting some bumps, so that's why we're slowing down. I'm going to back it down now to 18 inches manifold pressure. I'm going to bring our RPMs up a bit just to slow us down, get a little extra drag thrown out there. Still 500 feet a minute. Easy on the ears. Now to hold that 500 feet a minute, this has had to lengthen a little bit. So I got to put a little bit of trim in it because I'm reducing power. Quad City Tower, uh, Skyhawk, November 8381, Lima is ready at 27 on November. 1,400. Lima, Quad City Tower, turn left heading 230, runway 27 and November. Cleared for takeoff, traffic is at Comanche, about a six mile right base, runway 23. 81, uh, Lima is rolling, 230 on the heading. Comanche to a popper runway, uh, correction traffic departing, runway 27 at this time. 6928, Popster, I'm looking. All right. Two thousand two hundred. We're landing checks, seat belts, gear levers clear. Fuel pump we'll get, mixture we'll get with our gumps, flaps we'll get with our gumps. All right, there's 1,900. Crossing over Arsenal Island. In downtown Moline. That's the bumps from downtown Moline. 1,800. Thousand seven hundred. Sky K one Lima contact departure. 
Uh, All right, gumps to go. We're on the fullest tank. Gumps to go. 1,600. Go ahead and pull level. Inside gear speed, gear coming down. Gas. Undercarriage, got a green light. We'll leave the mixture alone, prop is in. Runway 25 is identified. So we're going to do a base. We'll start working our flaps in. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Inside flaps, let's go two notches. Now we're looking for 90 miles an hour. So you notice I'm in the descent, guys. I'm descending 500 feet a minute, but look how far back this has come already. All right. You guys watch that. I'm going to get us landed here. A little bit high. Still at 100 miles an hour. So now I'm using throttle for rate of descent and this to, to for airspeed. Go ahead and get our third notch in because we are high. And we'll get pointed down here. Gas undercarriage mixture prop. There's 85. So it's going to be a left to right. There's a nice sink. Okay, might get the nose up. That'll work. Crosswind correction in. Let's go ahead and dump the lift. There she sits on the back wheels. Little boost pump can come off. Start leaning. Ranch to it, Bob, stay parking. Uh, going to the south T, sir. Ranch to it, Papa, turn left on kilo two, contact your on point hunter. Left on two, then to ground at nine point nine six nine to it, Papa. Thanks. You guys have a great week. You too. 121.9 once I'm off. Okay. Do want to talk to Thirty one thirty five seven five, I think it is. We're gonna try that because I don't have it here. Quasi ground, Comanche 6928, Papa, Kilo 2, and uh, looking to go to the T's. Still with tower. Uh, sorry. Zero, track's clear. Temperature 07. Quasi ground, Comanche 6928, Papa, Kilo 2, looking to go to the T's. November 6928, Papa, Quasi ground, taxi to the south, TZ, Kilo 2, Kilo 3. Oh, yeah. Kilo two, kilo t, kilo three. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good week. You too. Beach at one hundred seven Bravo Echo, Quad City clearance. Clear God, to Charlie Yankee Sierra Airport five. as filed. Maintain 
4000, expect flight level 360, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.95, squawk. Elliot Smolene, Elliot Smolene, Comanche 692, Papa. 692, Yes, ma'am, could I get the 100 low lead truck over to hangar Echo 8 when the guys get a minute? Echo read back, correct. I do believe the truck is already down there. I will inform Chris. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good week. Thank you, too. All right, folks. That's it. Thanks for coming with. I hope you were watching that. You can see how the angle of attack changed. There's Jim walking here in the taxiway. Hold on. I want to make sure. <laughs> we don't want to hurt the mechanic. Whatever we do, don't hurt the mechanic. Yeah, there's the fuel truck. So, I hope everybody has a good week. I hope you enjoyed the, the flight. Get this taxed in. Oh, is he pulling it back out? Oh, he's just making an adjustment. All right, brake set. After landing checklist, or... Let's see. Go with our checklist. All right, folks, we'll talk to you all later.